From ranks, we're going to need two egg whites. Okay, we've got 120 grams of caster sugar and we have our mixing bowl. Now our mixing bowl must be clean and dry. If it is not, when you go to whisk the eggs, it won't work, okay? So, first thing we need to do is separate our egg yolk and our egg whites. Now you can do this by passing the egg between the two halves of your cracked shell, and that will remove the egg white. The second way you can do it is break your egg, and if you get your hand, you can just pass it, the egg white will run through your hand, and you're left with your egg yolk. Okay, so that's going into our mixing bowl. Right, you have to make sure there is no yolk in the mixture, otherwise it will not work. Which is the uh, yellow bit. Okay, so then we're going to get our whisk. Now, it's going to get very noisy. What you need to do is you need to make sure you're moving the whisk around the bowl. You can't just stand there and hold it, okay? Okay, now we're going to do it until it's more than doubled in size and it's forming stiff peaks like that. So the peak, if you bring the whisk out, is staying there. Okay. Now we're going to add our sugar and add a little bit around the sides. We're going to add this in stages and we're going to whisk it again and you'll see it will start to turn glossy. <laughs> Right, so that's half of it mixed and you can see it's starting to turn glossy. I'm going to add the rest of the sugar. Now we'll see I'm adding it around the side of the bowl because if I add it into the middle I'm going to knock the air out of the egg whites that I've been carefully putting in, okay? Okay, so there's our meringue mixture. All right, you can see it's nice and stiff. So stiff, you should be able to turn it upside down and it falls out. Okay, so we'll get rid of those. And I'm going to put it on a baking tray. Now, little trick. If you put four little dollops of meringue mixture in the corners, you can then put your paper down and it's going to be held in place. Okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do little dollops of meringue. You could pipe this mixture, yeah. If you wanted to, you could swirl it with the spoon just to sort of give it a bit of a shape. When you're piping it, you can add a little bit of food colouring to colour the meringues. Not too much because you don't want to change the consistency.
straight into your oven. Okay. And we're going to let that bake uh, for I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour. Right, and then the oven's going to be turned off and you let it cool in the oven and it will dry out your meringues. Okay, uh, and that's meringue.